hello lovelies welcome to today's video in today's video we will consider this question on the board the question says if x root x equals 27 what is the value of x if x root x equals 27 what is the value of x so there are two ways or there are two approaches to solving this question i'm going to solve the first one and then the second one so you choose whichever way is easy for you okay so let's have your solution so here we have x root x equals 27 what are we going to do the first thing we are going to do we cannot look for the value of x having this root here so we have to clear this square root how do we clear this square root? There are two approaches. I'll take the first one. Now, the first method is that we can replace this root x with x raised to power 1 over 2. So we have root x is the same thing as x raised to power 1 over 2. If I have here cube root of x, this will be equal to x raised to power 1 over 3. Okay, so having said that, we are going to replace this root x with x raised to the power 1 over 2. So here I have x times x raised to the power 1 over 2 equals to 27. And then the next thing I'm going to have, I'm going to clear this power. Okay, I'm going to simplify the power. There is an invisible one here. So I'm going to simplify the power here, applying the law of indices. So here I'm going to have x. I'm taking one of the base and I'll add the power. I have x raised to the power 1 plus 1 over 2 equals to 27. Now if I add 1 plus 1 over 2, I'm going to have x raised to the power 3 over 2 equals to 27. Now, remember we are looking for the value of x. So, I have to clear this 3 over 2. I have to clear this power so that I can just have x standing alone. How do I do that? For me to clear this power, I have to multiply both sides with a fraction that when I multiply the two together, I'm going to have 1 here. And what would that be? If I say 3 over 2 times 2 over 3 and i multiply this 3 times 2 will give me 6 and 2 times 3 will give me 6 6 divided by 6 will give me 1 because i want to leave this x standing alone so doing that i'm going to multiply the left hand side and the right hand side by 2 over 3 because 2 over 3 will help me clear this part here i hope you get that Okay, so, so now we are going to have x raised to the power 3 over 2, okay, times raised to the power 2 over 3, equal to, now the 27 we have here is the same thing as 3 raised to the power of 3, okay and then we multiply the power by this we raise it to the power of 2 over 3 all right so here we are going to have x raised to the power 3 over 2 times 2 over 3 which is equal to 3 raised to the power of 3 times 2 over 3 all right so by the time I multiply this out, I'm going to have x raised to the power 1. And x raised to the power 1 is the same thing as x, which is equal to this 3 and this 3 will cancel out. So I'm going to have 3 raised to the power 2. Okay, so my x is now equal to 3 raised to the power 2 is the same thing as 3 times 3. My x is equal to 9. So this is the first method. Let's go to the second method. Okay, so now let's consider the second approach. So here we have x times root x 
equals 27. Now for us to remove this square root, we have to square both sides. So I square both sides. Okay. So here, x here is going to give us x squared. And then if you square this, squaring this, this square will cancel this root. So we have just x, okay, equals to, this 27 is the same thing as 3 raised to the power 3, all squared, okay? Now, applying the law of indices, I'm going to take one of the base and add the powers. So this is going to give us x raised to the power 2 plus 1 which is going to be equal to 3 raised to the power 3 all squared, okay? So here we have x raised to the power 3 equal to, now if we multiply these powers, we are going to have 3 raised to the power 6, that's 3 times 2. Now, what do we do next? Remember, what we need is just the value of x. So we have to clear this power. And how do we do that? We are going to multiply both sides by 1 over 3. If we multiply 3 times 1 over 3, this times this will give us 3 over 3, which will be equal to 1. So we have to do that to remove this power here so we are going to have x we're going to have x raised to the power 3 times 1 over 3 which is going to be equal to 3 raised to the power 6 times 1 over 3 okay so this 3 here will cancel this 3 and we are left with just x equal to 3 into itself 1, 3 into 6 is 2. This will be equal to 3 raised to the power 2. So our x is equal to 9. So this is the second approach. Drop in the comment section which of these methods is easy for you to work with.